Welcome to the Full Audio Books Short Stories channel. The author, Sandy Ingram, holds the print, digital and audio rights. My heart was pounding in my chest as the man I waited for on Tuesdays and Thursdays was sitting across from me waiting for my roommate to get dressed. For a date, no less. I did not know who he was when he entered the yogurt store Shelley and I owned. I accepted his invitation to sit with him when the store wasn't busy. We'd talk about the business and expansion ideas. He'd come in around the same time on Tuesdays and Thursday afternoons of each week. I believed he was either a professor or a staff at the university, and this was the reason for his prop schedule. We didn't talk about anything in particular. I knew he had a younger brother and sister, and I knew he was from a nearby town. He never talked about why he was in the area, and I never asked. I shared information about the business because he asked questions and said he was interested in possibly opening a similar business. He suggested that my business partner and I add Wi-Fi for the college students, which would keep them in the shop longer. I explained the Wi-Fi kept students in the yogurt store longer, but did not increase purchases. We tried that and found kids stayed longer, but rarely made a second purchase. I had grown accustomed to our Tuesday and Thursday afternoon chats. I even waited for Matt on these days and was slightly disappointed the one time he didn't show. I kept telling myself he was just a customer with a lot of questions and probably had a girlfriend. I never once revealed my personal interest in him, and he never asked for my contact information. Now, here he was sitting in my living room waiting for Shelley, my roommate. The doorbell had rung. I opened it, and there he stood. The look on my face must have shown happiness and surprise, as did the look of disappointment after he asked for Shelley. It was awkward. I'm sorry, Greta. I didn't think you were interested in me. You never said anything, Matt said to me. I thought about his statement and decided to be open. I kept waiting for you to ask me out. Matt seemed surprised by my answer. I offered him a seat, and he sat in the chair across from the sofa I was sitting on. He was embarrassed. It was obvious he liked me and surprised to find I was Shelley's roommate. Shelley was always late and fashionably dressed. She was tall, attractive, personable, and likable. Men were instantly attracted to her, and she knew it. She yelled from the top of the stairs, Matt, I'll be right down. Matt did not answer. Then I realized why. He was formulating an escape plan. He simply got up from his seat and walked to the front door and said, I'll see you Tuesday, and walked out of the door. My mouth dropped open. My next concern was what was I going to tell Shelley? She was my business partner and my friend. Surely I could tell her the truth and hope she'd understand. But would she? When Shelley finally came downstairs, dressed in a dark green cocktail dress with a daring split up the side, she looked stunning. Where is Matt? She demanded to know. She appeared to be annoyed that Matt wasn't there for her grand entrance down the stairs, a trick she often used to make men remember the moment. 
I decided I wanted nothing to do with this uncomfortable situation. And I said, I don't know. He just got up and left. Shelly looked at me as she reached into her evening bag for her phone. What happened? Shelly demanded to the person on the phone. Whatever he said was a shock to Shelly. And she hung up the phone as she stared at me. Why didn't you tell me you were dating Matt? I was surprised again. I didn't know I was dating Matt and said so. I explained to Shelly that he came into the shop on Tuesdays and Thursday afternoons for the past nine weeks. Well, he sure thinks you're dating. He didn't want to cause a problem since he met you first. Shelly flatly reported. She fumbled around with her phone for a few moments before announcing, Well, I'm dressed. I might as well go out. She opened the door and left. I was in a complete state of shock. I was dating a wonderful man and didn't even know it. After a few seconds, Shelly opened the door, stuck her head in, and said, Greta, you better Google this guy. His name is Matthew Townsend. He is the heir to the Townsend fortune. If you enjoy the short stories created for Sandy's YouTube channel, please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when new audiobooks are uploaded.